Right, tonight we're going to be looking at threading the heddle for proper set. So we're going to use two heddles. I'm looking to get 25 ends per inch. I'm using a really fine linen, so I need more than what I can get with just one bead. So I'm going to use my two 12.5 beads. If you look, you'll notice that I've already got my uh, warp wound. And I've also wound, I've also threaded the back heddle because it's exactly the same as if you were um, doing one heddle. The only difference is when I warped, I've got four slots or four threads in each slot. So one, two, three in the slot. And then I took one from the slot, threaded it in the hole to the right. So I'm all the way across, we're going to be working in groups of four. The other thing I want you to notice are these knots. So I've tied some knots in the warp threads. I've got them down at this end as well. This is a lifesaver. Your heddle will fall off at times. Your threading hook will get caught in a hole. The whole thing will come down. If you don't have those knots, all your threads are going to come out and it's going to be really frustrating because it usually happens when you just have a few more left to do. So don't be afraid of tying a few knots. All right, so we've got that back heddle threaded. It's in the back heddle block. So here's my front heddle block. There's my back heddle block. I'm now going to put my front heddle in. It's heddle one. I'm going to take the bundle I'm working on. I'm going to untie that knot. I just It's just a slip knot, so it should pull apart really easily. And I'm just going to lay it over the top. So as I said, we're working in bundles of four. So I'm taking the first four. There's one in the hole in the back, and then I've got three in the slot to the back. This is the most important and also the hardest part of the whole thing. Once you get this done correctly, everything else is pretty easy. So the three that are in the slot in the back, I want them to be in the slot directly in front. Now I'm using a brass hook it's nice and stiff. I can just put it through and find the right slot. Let's just find that slot. This one right here. When I find it, I'm just going to pull all three threads through that slot. And I'm just going to leave those for a minute. Now I have this one from the hole. It needs to go into a slot in the front and it's going to go in the slot to the right of the one that you just put the three in. So let's just put it in there. This one's done. I don't need to do anything else with him. But I have these three. And these three need to be threaded slot, hole, slot. So I'm going to pick one and it's going to go in the same slot as we just put the one from the hole. Let's just grab it here. So now I've got two in the first slot, two in the second slot. I'm going to take one from that second slot and I'm going to thread it in the hole to the right. So my four are threaded two in a slot, one in a hole, one in a slot on the front. I'm going to grab my next bundle of four. And now it's easy. The one from the hole is going to go in the slot that you just put that last one in. much easier when you're not on a camera. And then I've got the three and they need to be threaded slot, hole, slot. So it's going to go in the same slot as the last one. And then the hole to the right. And 
and then the slot directly in front. So what I have here for those four What you'll notice now is I've got three in one slot and one of those was from the previous bundle of four and then I've got one in a hole and one in a slot and I'm ready to do the next bundle of four. So I'm going to grab that bundle of four. The one, the hole from the back is going to go in that previous slot and then I've got three and I'm going to thread those slot and then hole to the right and slot to the right. Having troubles pulling that through. There we go. So again, my slots have three. So there's three in this slot. Then I've got a hole. Then I've got three in the next slot. And then I have a hole. And then I've just got one in this slot. And when I do my next bundle, I'm going to have the three in that slot. So I've got my hole from the back in my slot to the front. I've got three in my slot to the back. They're going to be threaded slot and then hole. and slot. And that's it all the way across the loom. It's time consuming but not really difficult once you get those first four threaded.